It's before 8 a.m. Monday, and Katie Johnson of Public Health's Healthy Communities Program is ready to get her hands dirty to feed residents who have few healthy choices. She digs into the plants, lifts the vines, and removes her harvest. Then it's on to the next one. She's harvesting from the two raised beds she planted for the Public Health Department and a program to address food insecurity. So it actually comes from the Healthy Corner Store Network. Uh, for To be a part of that network, you have to have a certain amount of healthy foods in your store available. Once you get certified with the state, you become a certified healthy store. Johnson worked with those stores to help set up the free produce program for public health and started growing fruits and vegetables here at the Simon G. Atkins Community Garden. The program is in place in areas where there is a lack of grocery stores and supermarkets providing a full variety of foods. They're called food deserts. There's actually 21 food deserts in Winston-Salem, and the city is rated seventh on the food hardship scale. So that, that's pretty bad. So once I learned that, I figured we have to get more healthy food into the food desert areas. Today's harvest is done. It was a really good harvest today. I got about two pounds, one and a half pounds of zucchini and half a pound of cucumber. So I think the store is gonna be really happy when we deliver that today. A quick trek across town to Jonestown Road, she visits Los Juanes. Hey Juan, how are you? I'm good. Nice to see you. You too, got some vegetables for you. Here, Juan says the produce is welcome. They happy. <laughs> they get happy to, to get something free. I mean, but I'm I'm happy, yes, for me, like to help them too. It's a really good reaction. I was a little bit worried that people wouldn't take the produce um, because I work with some food pantries and none of the fresh food is taken. People don't know how to prepare it or they're scared to do it. Uh, but since it's free, I think people are less scared to take it and try to make something new. So it's great that people are getting healthy foods. Katie will continue to take care of the two beds here at Simon G. Atkins Community Garden. Now these two beds should continue to produce into September and maybe even October. At that point, she'll convert over, plant leafy greens and maybe onions. And if the community accepts that produce like they have, the first amount she's taken, she won't have any problem sharing that yield and continuing to do her part to fight food insecurity. For Forsyth County, I'm Ed McNeil.